much for stopping by and clicking on today's video. I'm very excited to show you guys this Makeup by Mario liquid foundation. And I've got to say, there's a lot of opinions and thoughts and facts and information all in this one video. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys and see what your thoughts are. Give this video a thumbs up because I know you will like it because... There's a lot of information that will be going in. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so I have already prepped and primed my face, and I just want to show you what products I use to um, prep my face. Um, so it's just going to be really quick. So uh, the first thing, I started off with the low pH good morning gel cleanser. This is such a great cleanser because it is non-scented, very good for sensitive skin. I have very dry sensitive skin and this works amazing on me. Um, all of the products that I've gotten, they are mini versions because I wanted to test and try it out first before I actually go ahead and buy the bigger products. Soothe, refresh, and softens the skin uh, without you know stripping your face. So this is this is a must. Second step, I have used the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. This is such a good toner as well. Literally, there's no scent. This is the trial version. Third step, this is like the holy grail of everything. Um, it is the Advanced Snail 96. Really good for your skin. Um, this works well on my skin. Just FYI, it is slimy. That's the whole purpose of it. Um, this one, basically, it helps with acne scarring. It's great for dry skin, sensitive skin, really smooths on the face. So when you apply it, um, it does get slimy, but then after a um, couple of minutes, it does um, leave your face feeling smoother. So I highly recommend this product. For the last step, what I've used, it's the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion. Um, this one, this helps hydrate and calms the skin. So this is also a must have. All of these products that I have here, this is all from Corsex, Corsex, correct me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, um, but these are all my all time favorite and it's definitely a must to have these four products especially if you do have dry sensitive skin so it's such a must and um, you can also look into it as well on their website um, I tell you this this is not sponsored I just really really love these products for the primer I use the MAC studio radiance moisturizing and illuminating primer um, I don't have the bottle with me but it is such an amazing primer especially if you have dry skin i tend to have really dry skin during the winter now for the moment of truth we are going to be reviewing the mario liquid foundation so i'm very excited to try this product myself since he just launched it so i'm very excited to try it i've heard great reviews this product actually retails for 42 dollars most expensive foundation that i have ever bought i'm in the shade nw very clean packaging look um, i would say and now for the bottle the foundation bottle this is what it is um, very simple this does come with a pump and I'm so excited so let me just go ahead and put some on to the back of my hand I'm sure you can see a little bit does go a long way very nice finish Wow, so far you can see the glow, definitely see the glow. This is very glowy, very luminous, and I love it. I absolutely love this product. Um, so this is a very different foundation product that I've ever used. So I'm really obsessed. This is just the first layer of the foundation. So this is the second layer of the foundation on. This is really good. It looks like your skin and it's not too cakey at all. I'm definitely going to see 
um, how long this foundation holds, what it's going to look like in a couple of hours, if it's going to be greasy or oily or what it is. I'm going to zoom in for y'all. be going ahead and finishing off my makeup the concealer that I'm gonna be using it is the Tarte shape tape and this is in the shade 29 N light medium going in with the brows I'm gonna be using the elf Wow brow gel and this does have a tint of color to it color deep brown so I like to go ahead and apply this onto my brows first After the brows, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. Um, I really like the NYX contour palette. It's a highlight and contour palette. So this is such a good palette. I really love it. The only shades that I use is just these two colors here uh, because they mix well. They really blend well together, so I really like it. And then I'm just going to go in with this Kabuki Fan Brush by Milani. Really love this brush. Um, for the blush, um, we are going to be using the Revolution Roxy Blush. And we cannot forget highlights. Definitely have to go in with some highlight, girl. In the color Opal. So this is like the mini version of it. Yeah, guys. This is the final face. Um, what do y'all think? I look very voluminous. I very I look very luminous. Um, girl, I ain't got no words. It gives off a very good luminous look. Not too cakey. The foundation really looks like your skin. So I'm very excited to see how long this foundation lasts and see what the coverage is, if it gets if it gets oily throughout the day, but I will definitely let you guys know. It's been a couple of hours now, and so this is gonna be the final verdict and see how long this foundation actually held up. As you can see, like right here, definitely oily, um, of course, underneath my eyes. Um, other than that, um, nothing too much. It's still very dewy. You can't see it on camera, but you can see some patchiness around this area and especially this area as well. My last and final verdict on this foundation is that, girl, you definitely got to get it because it's a really good luminous foundation and it makes you look so dewy. If you love, if you love that dewy effect on your face, definitely get this Definitely give this a go. Definitely recommend it to you, to your friends, to your family members. So excited. I really hope that you guys did enjoy all of this information that I have given you. Um, there's so much into this product that you don't even know until you try it yourself. So definitely try it yourself and see what you guys think. I'm pretty sure you guys will love it as much as I did. But this is going to be my number one foundation overall. Thank you guys so much for wa watching. And if you haven't already, please do give it a thumbs up and comment what are your thoughts on this foundation. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I will definitely go ahead and respond back to you. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for any upcoming future videos.